Somebody come up here and turn on this mic. North Carolina! Oh, my God. Let me just tell you something. We're going to do this. And we're going to make Senator Bernard Sanders the 46th president of the United States of America. Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. Lord, they got a sister pinned down. That's all right. The black girl magic is still real. Am I right about that? Somebody, somebody help us sit down. Thank you, Brian. There we go. Hey, how y'all doing out there? North Carolina. Oh, y'all can't keep a sister down. Come on, somebody. Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. Lord, now, I'm free. Winston Salem. Let me just say, you are the home of Local 22 of the Tobacco Workers Union, an interracial union that fought for justice. Hello, somebody. They were a civil rights force. Hello, somebody. Home of the Greensboro Four. Hello, somebody. And who you just had grace this stage, Dr. Little, who is a founding, a founding member of the Winston-Salem Black Panther Party. Hello, somebody. I'm just saying, what I'm saying, North Carolina, is that you have a civil rights history. And what we do understand is that right now, at this particular time in our nation's journey, that we need somebody that's going to go all the way ham on the system. Hello, somebody. Ask a millennial. If you don't know what that means, well, what does that mean, Sister Turner? I'm glad you asked. In a nation where so few people have so much and so many people have so little, we need a champion that's going to speak up on behalf of the workaday people of this nation. We need somebody who understands that poverty is not a crime. Hello, somebody. We need somebody who's going to speak up for the working class people of this nation. Hello, somebody. We need somebody who's going to say to Wall Street, I'm coming for your greed. To the pharmaceutical industry, I'm coming for your greed. To the fossil fuel industry, I'm coming for your greed. And then we got folks who want to sit up on national TV and defend billionaires. As if they need to be defended. Now, I, you know, where I come from, what my scripture says, because I'm a, I'm a church girl, what you do for the least of these, my sisters and my brothers. So we have in Senator Bernie Sanders, in the words of Dr. Cornell West, a long distance runner for justice. Hello, somebody. See, he didn't just get here. He didn't just start standing up for the working class people of this community. He didn't just stand up, just start standing up and talking about these issues since running for president. I want you to hashtag receipts, hashtag roll the tape. And when you roll the tape, you will see somebody who was arrested in his 20s fighting for civil rights. Hello, somebody. Arrested. Senator Sanders got an arrest record. Hello, somebody. Standing up for civil rights, Dr. Little. Hello, somebody. Senator Sanders United. See, you will know a tree by the fruit that it bears. Senator Sanders United with the Fight for 15 SEIU folks. And because of their leadership with Senator Bernie Sanders, he introduced the Stop Bezos Act to ensure that Amazon would pay their workers $15 an hour. And because, because of his work with our sisters and brothers in the union, the workers at Amazon and Disney, 400,000 of our closest family and friends got a minimum wage increase. Hello, somebody. 
In other words, what are you saying, Sister Turner? I'm glad you asked. He didn't wait until he becomes president of the United States to get a consciousness. His conscience has been clear the entire time. You will know a tree by the fruit that it bears. There are too many people in this nation who are suffering and we cannot judge the success of this nation based on what's happening on Wall Street. Baby, we need to know what's going on on Main Street. Hello, somebody. See, we need somebody that doesn't see the world from the castle. We need somebody who sees the world from the streets. Hello, somebody. We need a street view champion. We need somebody who doesn't have to stand in the living room of multi-millionaires and billionaires and raise money. We need somebody who doesn't have to go to Crystal Lace Wine Caves, hello somebody, and raise money. We need somebody who has millions and millions and millions of people just like you donating to his campaign so that his only special interest is you and you and you and you and you and you. We're not going to play games with it. So when folks say that Medicare for all is too radical, when the people I've talked to across this country who are either uninsured or underinsured, who don't have the health care that they need to be able to sustain their life, to have somebody like Senator Bernard Sanders say that health care is a moral right, that's not radical, it's right on time. When people cannot afford their prescription drugs to sustain their lives, I met a family in Nevada, North Carolina, where the parents explained to me that their daughter needs a certain medication that costs $1,600 a month. Did you hear me? For one prescription, $1,600 a month. When Senator Sanders says, pharmaceutical industry, I'm coming for your greed, that's not radical, it's right on time. And then, if I may, if I might, talk about a legal system in this country that sees black men as somehow more criminal than anybody else. That black men are overrepresented in this system that is unjust. Hello, somebody. We need somebody that's going to stand up and say that the black, brown, indigenous, and poor people of this nation need a champion. We are going to fix this racist legal system. That ain't radical. It's right on time. That's not radical. It's right on time. And then, ladies, if I may, if I might, I may, that for far too long, we have not made dollar for dollar as white men in this nation. We want our whole damn dollar. We want our whole damn dollar. That's not radical. It's right on time. And to say that we need to take marijuana. Hello. I'm just off. We gonna take marijuana off of schedule one. We gonna legalize marijuana in the United States of America. That, that's not radical. It's right on time. North Carolina, y'all messing with a sister. And to deal with the unfair, the BS war on drugs, and I ain't talking about Bernie Sanders, hello. That hurt so many black and brown communities to say that you're going to make an investment in the very communities that were hurt by that is not radical, it's right on time. We serve it. Senator Sanders is a right on time candidate. And so for all the people who are standing up there on the stage on this dem in this Democratic Party and don't have the courage and the guts to say that we need to do a new thing in America, that what we are doing right now is not working for the working poor and the barely middle class, it is not radical, it is right on time. And you deserve more than what you have been getting. So don't let these folks who are okay with trillions of dollars worth of
tax cuts fool you about what democratic socialism is. All it is is government of the people, by the people, and for the people. Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. And I want you to think about this, North Carolina. If you were in an ocean drowning, Doc, I want you to follow me on this. If you were in an, in the ocean drowning, who do you want to come save you? The person that has to figure out what's practical about saving your life or the person who's going to radically come in there and save your life? Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. That is Senator Bernie Sanders. He is for what is right, what is just, and what is good. He is in the spirit of President FDR. He is in the spirit of Ella Baker. He's in the spirit of Fannie Lou Hamer. He's in the spirit of Cesar Chavez. Hello. He's in the spirit of the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. He's in the spirit of the Greenboro Five. Hello, somebody. He's in the spirit of Mother Jones. Hello, somebody. She said, I would pray for the dead and fight like hell for the living. That is what we are doing, fighting like hell for the living. So we need each of you. As Attorney General Ellison said and Dr. Little said, it's good when the family gets together. But we need you to put some sweat equity on this thing. We can make history and have transcendence in this nation. Senator Sanders needs you in front of him, behind him, and beside him. A movement of multi-gender, multi-racial, and multi-generational, conscious-minded people putting a little extra on their ordinary so that extraordinary things can happen. That is all of you in this room. We're going to win this thing. So can you do something for a sister? Can you do something for a sister? I need you to put up one hand for yourself and another hand for somebody else. The great Dr. Maya Angelou once said, have the courage to stand up for yourself and then the courage to stand up for somebody else. And with these hands, we will have Medicare for all. With these hands, we will have college for all. With these hands, we will cancel student debt. With these hands, we will reform the legal system. With these hands, we will have humane immigration. With these hands, we will legalize marijuana. With these hands, women will get their whole